this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. In my last video where I showed a Jamaican having an altercation with some Latinos, those Latinos were calling him the N-word. And at one point, the Latino guy, who looked like a white Latino, he was trying to stop the black guy from talking at his girlfriend. And the black guy was making a point that she had called him the N-word, which she had. And the white guy said, we don't use racial slurs. You're not an N-word. You're Jamaican, right? And people have made a whole lot about that. The reason he said that is because Jamaicans run around calling themselves Jamaicans. Now, somebody was trying to make the case that people only call black Americans the N-word. Well, that is a lie. They call Arabs, Indians, Pakistanis. In the United States, they call those people the N-word. I worked at a middle school in suburban Atlanta, and we had children from everywhere. Children from Arab countries, India, Asia, Latin America, South America, the Caribbean, all of those children get called the N-word. You have to be noticeably white not to be called a racial slur. Even white Asians like Chinese and Japanese, they don't get called the N-word, but they get called other racial slurs. Nobody gets off the hook in America when it comes to racial slurs except people who are white or white identified. So anybody who thinks otherwise is misinformed. And everybody is sensitive about that because everybody knows the history of black Americans because we talk about our history. We don't try to hide it. And that is why we get things out in the open and deal with them to the best of our ability. That is why we can stay here in America with white Americans, even though there is racism and don't have to run to other countries because we confront our government. And we don't always get our way, but we get enough done that we can stay here and live in peace. There is racism and there is oppression and discrimination all over the world. Black Americans have set a model for how to deal with those issues. Black Americans have set a model for how to deal with oppression and discrimination. And because we were here from the ground level before America was a country, and because of the contributions we've made, we actually have agency in America. See, when, when people think about Amer black Americans, they think about slavery. They don't even understand the impact that slavery had on this country. We weren't a slave. No, you weren't a slave. And you haven't made an impact anywhere. That's why you're running. And, and black Americans do themselves, each other, and our ancestors a disservice when you continue to have discussions with these ignorant black immigrants about culture. America's number one export is black American culture. And we have to really stop having a conversation with these black immigrants coming from other parts of the world talking about black American culture. These people can't live in their own homeland. They are the majority in their own homeland. They don't have enough culture and enough cultural impact to live in their own homelands and be able to export that culture that they say they have to give them clout and influence in the world. These people are non-starters because they would have you think that now you got to go back and reinvent the wheel before you can have culture. You don't have to reinvent the wheel to have culture. They need to be concerned about their own homeland, their own culture, 
and their own lives because the world sees them as jokes. And that is why they're always making videos about black Americans. What do Africans think about black Americans? It's not even important what Africans think about black Americans. Black Americans don't have culture. Black Americans this, black Americans that. The only people in the world that's going to listen to these runners are black Americans. That's the, if, if you listen to them, that's the only engagement they're going to get. Nobody else is going to pay any attention to them. They have to make videos about black Americans to get any engagement on social media. And that's how come they continue to do it. Because they're not relevant by themselves. So let me give a few facts about black American life before I end this video. The majority of black Americans see being black as central to our identity. The majority of black Americans identify with being black and see it as central to who we are. It didn't say everybody, it said the majority, the overwhelming majority, about 75% see being black as very important to who they are. So our self-esteem radar is pretty high. And the overall picture for black Americans is really not a bad picture. Black Americans have the highest standard of living of any black people in the world. That's just a fact. We are, we are the most educated black people in the world. 88% of black Americans have at least a high school diploma. 26% have a bachelor's degree compared to 36% of white Americans who have a bachelor's degree. And they haven't been enslaved and they haven't been discriminated against and they haven't been held back in any way. So that's a 10 point difference. And as time goes on, that gap will narrow and we are never to be distracted by these black immigrants talking about their degrees. Because first of all, many of them left their homelands with those degrees. So it's a brain drain on African nations in particular. So we're never impressed by people who get their education in their country use up all of the resources they can in their country and then abandon their country to come to the United States for a better life. Even though we complain about the health care system, black Americans have access to the best health care of any black people in the world. Financially, black people are the wealthiest of all of the black people in the world. Hence, black people are not running to your country to get a job. You're running to our country. And let's make this clear. This is the white man's country. America is the white man's country, but it's also the black man's country. It's our country too. And just because people don't want to acknowledge that when they come here and want to latch on to the white people, does not change that fact. This is our country too. We are Americans. We are unique in all the earth. We went through the system called the transatlantic slave trade, but we are a part of a great empire that was built on the backs of our ancestors and it didn't even stop in slavery. We are great inventors in this country, great, great architects and creators. So we are really unique in the world, really. The world has never seen real-time slavery like we had and see the results of it. That's the beauty of it. You can see the results. The good thing about white people in America, whatever they do, whatever they have done, they wrote it down. They will write down what they do. So therefore, you know. You know what the history is. And what man meant for evil, God worked for good. The world has never seen anything quite like America, a young country. And the only way America got where it is so fast is through the slave labor that came with our ancestors. It is an honor to be a member of a great group of people, African Americans, in a great empire. Now, Dr. Martin Luther King said 
The arc of the universe is long, but it leans towards justice. Now, we're trying to get our reparations right now. That's justice. That's for a debt that they owe. Now, it's up to them whether they want to pay the debt or suffer the consequences. The truth about black American life is that we can hold our own against anybody, anywhere, anytime. We're still striving to be the best people that we can be in a nation that's still trying to perfect its union. Okay, y'all, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and as always, have a great day.